Tom, on the opening day of MBAA 2011, there's not a whole lot of excitement in the way of things new going on. A couple airplanes, and of course, we've uh, got a production start on the Eclipse program. So there's a moderate amount of good news until we get to our buddy here. The guys are grown up. You're going after the big time. Well, yeah, we're in the market, as we previously announced, for a full stack of avionics. And we've announced the audio panel, a transponder, our autopilot, and of course, our IFD 540 which is our GPS Navcom. At this show, we have announced an IFD 510, which is a GPS-only version, basically a scaled-down version of the 540, and it's designed really as a slide-in replacement for a lot of popular navigators like the GPS 500 series, GPS 500W. There are a lot of light jet citations in those class of aircraft that have those navigators in them and want to upgrade either to WAS or to have RNP capability and even some of the old legacy FMS systems. And this gives you an opportunity for the folks in this market to upgrade to a WAS RNP capable GPS. But most important of all, the R9 methodology is, uh, is certainly present. It really is. It's, it, this is really a six and a quarter width version of our Integra Release 9 system uh, for GPS, Nav, and Com for the 540. And this, this, is, the, this is essentially the FMS 900 out of the uh, R9 system. Okay, let's get the hard stats out of the way. How much and when? The list price on this box is $14,995. It's available at the same time as the 540. They'll be on the same cert, so it'll be uh, second half of next year. Well, show me the box. Okay, so it's FMS capability. It's got a full moving map. It's got the same multi-touch, touchscreen in interface, as well as dedicated knobs and buttons. We have a page and tab user interface, so you can select the page you want, and then you have a list of easy to read tabs that allow us to select these are two-way rocker switches so we can scroll through the different pages, just like R9. What makes it a little bit different is now that with the uh, touch screen capability, we can directly go to any of the tabs just by touching them. So it adds a whole new level of ease of use. We can um, enter a flight plan. What we have a difference here is flight plan and flight plan plus. Now we can see our flight plan and a map at the same time. If we were to look for a nearest airport, we would get a full list of nearest, a nearest search like you'd expect, but we also have a nearest plus that now we can see all the nearest airports along with the map. You touch any of these airports and notice the cyan circle there, it shows you exactly where that airport is in relation to where you are. And so now if you have an emergency, you might want to find an airport that's, uh, let me just scroll up the list here. Let's find one maybe that's off, to, off the nose. There's one, now we can hit direct two and go direct to that particular airport. So in an emergency, it makes it really easy to graphically see where you're gonna go. I assume that there isn't any function here that can't be done one form or another. In other words, it can be done touchscreen, but it also can be reverted to a knob when, it, when time comes that you're flying along in really bumpy air and so forth, and a touchscreen is just not gonna do the trick. Well, that's a good point. I mean, that's, we've all you know, flown in turbulent situations where it's nice to have the knob to hang on to. And also, it's sometimes a certain amount of comfort in having a positive detent of a button to push. And so we allow that for the uh, user preference. There are a younger generation of pilots coming up and the touch screen is certainly uh, maybe more attractive to them in, in some instances. But, and there's certain things like doing the touch zoom that are really neat with touch. But we also allow pilots to use the zoom right here with the knob. Aero TV is brought to you by Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online, audio, and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio, and video programs every year. Only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight, and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net.